Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with uh, the relatively brand new 21-22 Panini Donner's Optic Basketball 4 box, pick your team number 10, um, a third of a case from a fresh case, all card ship, this just dropped uh, just a couple days ago on Friday, so I know Jason's been pulling some nice stuff, let's see what, let's see what, let's see what I can do for this group right here. Out of a fresh case. Thanks everyone for making this happen on a Sunday, Labor Day weekend. Hopefully everyone's Labor Day weekend going well. Everyone's happy, healthy, and safe. We'll be live tomorrow as well. I'll be here on your Labor Day Monday. If you're lucky enough to have that off. Thanks for making this part of your holiday weekend. That's Brittany with Last Bob Mojo next to her name. T-Wolves. see what we got in there. All right, so let's make some stacks of four. We got one, two, three, four right here. We'll shave two boxes off the top here, and we'll shave two boxes off the top right there. So now we got three stacks of four, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. One, two, so we'll do the left side right here. And over here. Mark those with the X's so we know they're from the same case. that bell bell let's get some more top loaders here shut up for a four box break anthony what's up not too much clippers in the first three cases so hopefully some more out of here let's hope so it's a fresh case right one autograph per box that's what we're looking for I'm sure there's some some Special parallels and inserts and short prints and whatnot. So, let's see. I think we got some basketball. Uh, we got some basketball coming up at the end of the month. Some preseason action should be happening soon. Not, I'm not sure when like basketball training camp starts. But I know first I know that uh I know that preseason games should be starting at the end of the month, and end of September. We should be seeing something like that. So basketball season slowly creeping upon us. NFL week one. Starts on Thursday. Thursday night football. Diego's putting a nice Cunningham out of here. That would make Sean very happy. Sean Maddock has the Pistons here. And so yeah, still a ton of free agents out there too. So there could still be some roster moves. Um, I mean, Utah looks like they're in a full rebuild, so... You know, they moved Gobert, they moved uh, Donovan Mitchell to the Cavs, which is kind of crazy. Right, yeah, hockey. Hockey preseason starts towards the end of the month as well. So we'll be in a great sports, sports part of the year. There'll be a lot, a lot going on. And playoff baseball in October, so all sorts of fun stuff coming up this year. So hang with us, chat sports with us, and break sports with us all all year long. There's Jonas Valanciunas to 99. 
And that will be for the Pelicans. That's going to go to Matthew. There's DeMontis Sabonis. I like these little parallels here. It's the right rookie. That could be could be a lot. Got Jalen Green rated rookie. Star Stargazing, that's a cool I think this might be a new insert. Got a lime green Lugans Dort to 149. That'll be for OKC, Sean Maddock with the Thunder. Got some all stars right here. We'll do left right randomizers on that. And our autograph is rated rookie, 3 out of 49, Cameron Thomas. Nice. That's not a bad autograph either. Some good penmanship there. Darren Young with the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> Logan saying the winner of those Super Bowl tickets are going to see the Packers. Logan, you should get in on it. You might see your Packers in the Super Bowl. We might send you to, the, to, the, to Arizona. 15 out of 199. Well, we're not sending you to Arizona, but we'll give you tickets for the Super Bowl. You have to make yourself. Make, make your way by yourself there. But it could happen. Nikola Vucevic, Bulls. That'll be for, um, for Woon. That one. Got a Josh Christopher to 39. And there's lighted up Donovan Mitchell be lighting up Cleveland. It still goes to the Jazz, though. All right, and that's right, Diego. We'll be marching towards the World Cup at the end of the year as well. We got a lot going on, a lot of sports going on. There'll be a lot of great new releases throughout the year. Usually the last quarter of the year, there'll be some, uh, usually the last quarter of the year, there'll, there'll be a lot of great new releases that all the major manufacturers put out there. Right, yeah. The World Cup would be long over by now if it was a regular World Cup year, but... I have that rare... Fall, Winter, World Cup. I think World Cup starts uh, Thanksgiving for us. I think that's when the first match will be, Thanksgiving weekend. And then off we go for like a month. The other crazy thing is I don't think that the... I, I would have thought that the English Premier League, a lot like a lot of European leagues, will have like usually a month um, break. That's when they usually have a break. And it's pretty traditional for them. And I thought, I thought the English Premier League would do something similar, but I think they're still going on with their normal, with their regular schedule. I want to say. So we could be seeing a lot of the big clubs without some of their superstars. Some have argued that England's lack of a mid-season break is a reason why some of those players, uh, some of those uh, England national team players sputter a little bit in the summer after playing a long Premier League season. And usually they're on the big clubs, so they'll be playing a full schedule, Champions League, all the other domestic cups. This year might be different. Yeah, to a summer off. All right, box two. We got a, another All Stars card right here. That'll be part of that left right randomizer. And Isaiah Stewart, 29 out of 39 for Detroit. Let's 
see if we'll find his uh, his teammate. Oh, they are off from November 12th to Boxing Day. So maybe they did do that. All right. But isn't the World Cup still going on by the time Boxing Day rolls around, or is it not? The FA did, did do a little break. Norman Powell to 199 for Portland. Eddie with that one. Good research, Diego. So I wonder if it'll. I wonder how short the turnaround is from the end of the World Cup to those Boxing Day fixtures. And your autograph is Corey Kispert for Russell and the Wizards. You're a wizard, Russell. Russ won that uh, autograph or won that team in the team random. Wow. So the final date of the World Cup is the 18th. Huh. All right. And here's a rookies, the rookies insert for the Raptors, Sean Maddock with Toronto. So they did do the break. I thought it'd be, yeah, I thought it'd be crazy if they didn't have some sort of break. It's Jonathan Isaac, 18 out of 79. Magic, Orlando, that'll be for Matthew. Cool, reigning threes insert, Steve Nash. Can certainly do that. David Johnson, for a second, I thought that was going to be, with my respects to David Johnson, but I thought that was going to be a, a Scotty Barnes rated rookie hollow, which would be nice. Halfway through this third of a case break. What does everyone think about that jazz trading Donovan Mitchell to the Cavs? It sounds like, and I don't know if this is like LOL's Knicks, but it sounds like the Knicks were playing a little hardball with the Jazz walked away from the table and then the Cavs swooped in and then they banged out a deal with each other. So Donovan Mitchell's on the Cavaliers now, which I think is really great for the Cavs, I want to say. Go to go to that depth chart. Take a look at it. It's a good-looking team. And yeah, Logan's a Jazz fan. Logan, what's going on? Is it a full rebuild then? I'm sure the Lakers would love to take Jordan Clarkson back on the cheap. I don't, know if, I, don't know if, I don't know what assets the Lakers have. You guys want Russell Will, Russell Westbrook, not Russell Wilson, but you want Westbrook for uh, another year real quick? We'll take Clarkson back. It's a total rebuild, Logan's saying. All right. Well, I feel like they got a haul from Steve Locke's Timberwolves for Rudy Gobert. So maybe that'll help. Yeah, Steve's thinking, hey, seems like Cow's got a decent deal. Yeah, they were willing, the Knicks were willing to send RJ and Obi Toppin, but I guess that's it. I would love that. I would love to see Clarkson and Bogdanovich to the Lakers. Let's get, let's get it done. Hopefully we, don't, hopefully we won't even have to give away those, those, those picks a decade from now or whenever. Chris Paul stargazing enter to 49, Adam with the Suns. It's a cool looking card. Yeah, Steve Locke admitting, yeah, Timberwolves gave up too much. When that deal first went down, and I initially did not realize what, 
was what was dealt, and I was, I was like, oh yeah, great move for the Timberwolves, and it still is a great move. If you just take what you give up out of it, <laughs> I think that's that is a good match for the Timberwolves. And apparently they thought so too, because they gave up a lot. And then I started reading the the, the news reports, like they gave up this and this and this and this, and I was like, whoa. There's a Sixers Ben Simmons that's going to go to Michael, but I hope it works out. I feel like that is a really good fit. Now, was this when he was a Laker or when he was a Jazz? Tibbet saying, I ran to Jordan Clarkson in the movie theater at the Grove once. I was going to say, if it's recently, maybe you could, uh, maybe you should have done some recruiting here. Hey, maybe force your way to, to back to L.A. There's J.T. Thor, Love and Thunder, 67 out of 79 for Charlotte, Brian, and the Hornets. And the autograph is Al Farouk Aminu. Four out of 99. Is Optographs, I think is what it is. That is for for Darren, the Porterhouse Steak with the Spurs uh, before he was traded. Duncan Robinson to 199. Ooh, Diego's thinking an Argentina y Ingle, Ing Inglaterra, I think, in Espanol. Uh, final, World Cup final in the Mundial. It's Kevin Porter Jr. It might be a low number there. I like the sound of that. That put a lot of eyeballs on, on uh, TV, that's for sure. Four out of ten. It's for Matthew and the Rockets. That would be a... Uh, 1986 World Cup rematch? That was the Hand of God game? Or was that a final? I don't know if that was a final or not. It might be a semi-final game. A lot of history between those two, those two nations. Everything from, everything from the Falklands to, uh, to football. Yeah, France is always in the... I mean, with that, how young that team is, France is always in the mix. Fan, the fantasy football Americano teams. We did another draft today for the Jaspi League. And... Um, that went okay, I want to say. The other draft that I did was my 2QB auction league did not go as well because I, uh, I was doing a lot of breaks that night, <laughs> which I think is exactly why they, uh, which is exactly why they set the draft that night. They were scared of me. So that, that did not go as well. Jaspi, I honestly don't know. I just, I, I kind of woke up, I did the draft, and then I got, then I got ready for work. The Jassy League was, a, was a, uh, a snake draft format, though, which is okay, but yeah, I do, I do enjoy the auction format, although auction takes a long time, though. The snake draft we were done, done in within, within like an hour. The auction draft takes like a few, a few hours. Sometimes more. But yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. I always say that, that, that fantasy football seasons are won and lost in the draft. Unlike like a baseball season is really long. You can you can pick up baseball players along the way, but well, let's let's see. All right. There's a Cade Cunningham, just a base rated rookie for Detroit. I'd love to see a hollow in here. I like I'm liking this clean design. I feel like the font is a little different. It's a little cleaner this year. Or maybe just the print process is just a lot cleaner this year. 
But I don't know. I always like the Donner's Optic Basketball. Really clean look. It's Josh Hart to 199. Yeah, I don't know. Just, just a cleaner. They cleaned things up a little bit. Cleaned up some design elements here. Jonathan Kaminga rated rookie. Scoring Dragic to 99. I don't know. I don't know if Franz Wagner at this point is sleeve worthy, but I feel like he and the Orlando Magic, a lot of youngsters on that team, a lot of upside. Jonathan Kaminga did pretty well. For uh, And to, to think their Warriors are going to get this guy back too? There's Jonas Valanciunas. It's the uh, Photon shorter print. I want to see some of the big rookies in that print. I think the R.J. Barrett ended up getting a big extension. Dono DNA. Sean Maddock with the Raptors with the reigning with the reigning rookie of the year. Ooh, Tibbo, that's a hot take. Saying that Optic looks better than Prism. I said it. Jingles for the Jazz. Ariana with the Jazz. And Kessler Edwards is your final autograph, 32 out of 49. Now listen, folks, this is only the first third of the case. We got two thirds to go. I feel like the next four boxes are close to single digits. We can knock out another one of these pretty easily tonight. Quentin Grimes and Nikola Jokic to 199. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, pick your teams. And if we get it closer to single digits, we'll even, uh, we may even just pop the remaining teams to a number block and that might get it over the finish line a little bit more quickly. All right, so let's flip back over here and let's just do a quick left-right randomizer on these. Let's roll it, randomize it. Team on top after 10, five and a five, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. And it'll be the left side getting them after ten times. Five and a five, ten the hard way. There you go, gang. So all the all the left side teams right there. Thanks everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I will see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.